I usually don't read books for my classes um, at all. <laughs> I usually just go to the lectures, um, you know, do the practice exams and, you know, don't work really hard. With this class, it's completely different. I'm working hard. Uh, I mean, I'm reading all the time. Nobody learns by listening to someone tell them how to do something. Everybody learns by doing. You can watch video after video about how to ski, and then you get on the slopes and nothing works. And you don't learn how to ski unless you fall down a lot of times and get back up. Once you've tried that, then a little instruction, a little showing could be very beneficial. But by then you've already invested time, you've thought about it, and you want the answer. We want students to want to learn. And that's not going to happen by lecturing to them. I envy the students. They're not sitting in a lecture listening to a professor. They're working with each other and helping each other. And that's how learning should be. And so I didn't get that experience when I took this class, and I wish that I had. I'm not teaching a flipped classroom. I don't make my students watch a video at home and then come and do the homework in class. The students read the book at home and they use this social document website to annotate the textbook in a way that all the classmates can see everything they're doing and they have a discussion about the textbook. When they come to class, we work in these small groups to really make sure they understand the concepts they just learned from reading. So you want to move all these points to the right as well? Then they get homework, and I don't grade the homework, I grade their effort. And because I don't grade the homework, I can make it really hard and push them. And I hope they can't do it, because I hope they make mistakes, and I hope that when they come back to class and do the homework in class, they're learning from their mistake and really mastering the concepts that I'm trying to teach them. I feel motivated to learn because when I come here and I speak with my group and when the professor is going over um, his slides and everything, I want to understand what's going on. Otherwise, I'm just kind of sitting around. It, it's not like a, a normal lecture where you don't interact and you could just sit there um, you know, on Facebook or, or whatever. Nobody's on Facebook. Nobody's watching sports. Everybody's focused on the task at hand, which is learning. Asking other people questions that are at my same level um, of understanding really empowers the student, I believe, because you no longer look to the professor as the person with all of the answers, but you look to your peers. The very best person to learn from is the person right next door to you who just learned it. The next best person is someone who learned it a year ago. The next best person after that is someone who learned it five years ago. The worst person is me. Once we graduate with engineering degrees, we're not going to be surrounded with professors. We're going to be surrounded by you know, our equals. So I think that this class does a really good job of, uh, of preparing you for that. The biggest hurdle for me is actually completing the reading. You know, I like to take really good notes. I'm really meticulous. I like to understand everything. So it, it'll take me several hours. I think I've worked harder in this class than any other class. I don't know. I guess it's kind of fun. Yes, I guess you could say it's fun. Them. Essentially, the liquids just remain stuck on the surface, they don't roll off. And so it was a big achievement for us to be able to cause all these liquids to roll off the surface and actually bounce on these surfaces.